Warren Buffett bought Berkshire Hathaway in 1965, and it's skyrocketed since. Berkshire's done so well, it's even outperformed the S&P 500. The compound annual gain of Berkshire shares is 19.8% since he bought the company, compared to the S&P at just 9.9%. So let's take a closer look at the stocks behind Berkshire Hathaway's wild success. Apple is by far Berkshire's lar largest holding with almost 40% of its total portfolio. Buffett has cited faith in the tech giant's dominance in the market, noting the unmatched popularity of, of course, the iPhone. Bank of America is Berkshire's second largest holding with 11% of the company's portfolio. Buffett's boasted about CEO Brian Moynihan's management style and his ability to clean things up after the great financial crisis. Chevron takes up almost 10% and is one of the newer additions to the Berkshire portfolio. One of the biggest investors in the world does not own Tesla shares, and he may not be buying any Tesla shares ever. Find out why he chose not to invest in the world's leading EV car company. The 1932 annual report of General Motors, and uh, it's one of the best annual reports I've I read. It's a totally honest, you know, assessment of exactly where they were. They had 19,000 dealers then, and the population, as I mentioned earlier, was about 120 million or so. And now with 330 million people, all brands in the United States have like 18,000 dealers or something. It, it, it's just a business where you've got a lot of worldwide competitors. They're not going to go away, and they look like it looks like there are winners at any given time, but it doesn't get you a permanent place. Although, as I mentioned, I would say Ferrari is in a special place, but they only sell 11 or 12,000 cars uh, a year. And uh, U.S. last year, I think there were 14 million something. And uh, uh, it's it's not a business where we find it fascinating to be in. We like our dealership operation. But I don't think I can tell you what the auto industry will look at ten, look like five or ten years from now. I do think that you're right, that, 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 uh, that you know, that there's a, you will see a change in the vehicles, but you won't see anybody that owns the market because they changed the vehicle. Charlie? Well, the electric vehicle is coming big time. And that's a very interesting development. At the moment, it's imposing huge capital costs and huge risks. And I don't like huge capital costs and huge risks. And we're subsidizing in the United States, and we're actually doing it by putting in a pro-labor time. I mean, it, it is subject to politics like you can't believe, too. But, but it's, it's going to be with us. We're not going to quit with driving cars, and, and American public has a love affair with them. And, uh, but I, I think I know where Apple's going to be in five or ten years, and I don't know where the car companies are going to be in five or ten years. Being an investor like Warren Buffett is much more than just knowing the basics of investing. It involves, amongst other things, the ability to look beyond a company's current valuation and then evaluate where the company is going to be in the coming years. It is fair to say that even though Warren Buffett has missed out on some lucrative stock in his years of investing, the stock expert has some of the best investment advice that anyone could follow. Let's take a look at Buffett's ideology on investing. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Warren Buffett is a famous stock investor and the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. The investment expert is consistently ranking high on Forbes' list of billionaires and his net worth is listed at $100 billion as of June 2022. Warren Buffett, through his company Berkshire Hathaway, holds a stake in many companies. Some of his largest holdings include Bank of America, Apple, American Express and Coca-Cola. Buffett is best known for being one of the world's most successful investors, which is why it is not surprising that his investment strategy has reached mythical proportions. Buffett follows several important tenets and investment philosophies that are widely followed around the globe. Considering how Buffett has been trading for years now, it's fair to say that there is something which differentiates him from other investors, and that is likely the concept that guides his selection of stocks till date, including his decision not to invest in Tesla. Why has the stock expert then decided to not own any Tesla shares? Well, we're going to get on with it in this video. 
But before we start, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that like button, press that subscribe button, and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Investors like Warren Buffett approach investments with a long-term mindset. Buffett doesn't choose stocks just because he thinks their prices are going to rise in the short term. Instead, he buys stocks because he wants to own those businesses for the long term. Although Buffett still sells stocks fairly frequently and for a variety of reasons, he approaches most of his investments with the mindset of owning them forever. Warren Buffett's goal is to pay less than a company's intrinsic value, always. And according to him, a high purchase price for a stock of an excellent company can undo the effects of a subsequent decade of favorable business developments. The stock expert believes that the best way to invest is to ignore the crowd entirely and focus on finding value in companies. According to Warren Buffett, buying certain stocks just because everyone else is buying them is only a recipe for disaster. Buffett had previously said that the most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. One needs a temperament that neither derives great pleasure from being with the crowd nor against it. The investment legend and his partner, Vice Chairman Charlie Munger, shared their thoughts on EVs and the auto industry in a general during a Q&A session at Berkshire Hathaway's annual conference. Warren Buffett stated that he admires Elon Musk for his dedication to solving the impossible, adding that the Tesla CEO has urged Berkshire Hathaway to invest in his electric vehicle maker. However, while Warren Buffett believes EVs will bring big changes to the auto market, he doubts any car maker will hold any dominant positions. And according to him, there will be change in vehicles. We won't see anybody owning the market simply because they changed the vehicle. When Buffett invests in a company, he isn't concerned with whether or not the market will eventually recognize its worth. He's concerned about how well a company can make its money as a business. And it's not surprising that the Berkshire Hathaway CEO is not a fan of Tesla, given that he always taken a value investing approach to the market and shielded away from high growth stocks with high earnings multiples. Warren Buffett believes that aside from knowing how a business operates and what it offers to consumers, investors should also have an idea of where a company is going to be in 10 years, if not for decades. Buffett had previously stated that if an investor isn't willing to own a stock for 10 years, then they shouldn't think about owning it for 10 minutes. Berkshire Hathaway famously missed out on tech companies like Google and Amazon in the early 2000s because Warren Buffett just wasn't sure he understood the business in terms of their long-term profitability, and this made it harder to determine the value of the stocks. He did, however, make investments in blue chip companies like American Express and Coca-Cola, both of which have, as you may have guessed, paid off rather nicely. Buffett looks out for a company's competitive advantage. He believes that the more secure the competitive advantage, the more likely the company will prosper over decades. This could be why the stock expert has bought shares of Coca-Cola. The company has a strong competitive advantage and is a powerful brand that people are always willing to pay for. Although Tesla also has a strong competitive advantage, not everyone is willing to admit this. The replies by Buffett and Munger at the Berkshire conference give a glimpse into their thoughts on not investing in Tesla, Rivian, or other EV makers in the US. The stock investors noted that EVs are coming big time. And while that's a very interesting development, it is imposing huge capital costs and huge risks, something that Munger is not a fan of. Buffett said, Charlie and I have for a long time felt the auto industry is just too tough. And just that kind of business where you've got a lot of worldwide competitors, they're not going to go away. And it looks like there are winners at any given time, but it doesn't get you a permanent place. Although some might think that Buffett isn't interested in Tesla because he doesn't understand the EV business well enough, it is important to note that Buffett has already proven he isn't averse to investing in EV stocks. In China, Berkshire Hathaway has invested in Tesla's rival BYD, and he owns 14.9% of the company BYD. It also owns 3.5% of General Motors, which is also ramping up EV production. Earlier this year, Munger stated that it's almost ridiculous how much BYD was beating Tesla in China, and he called BYD his best investment at Berkshire Hathaway. 
Tesla may not fully qualify as a good investment for Warren Buffett because its stock isn't cheap. The obvious goal of stock investing is buy low, sell high. But human nature can compel us to do the exact opposite. Buffett loves it when stock prices drop since it creates opportunities to buy at a discount, which explains why 2022 has been a particularly active year. Buffett embraces discounts on his favorite stocks, believing that opportunities come infrequently. Buffett, however, isn't concerned with the supply and demand intricacies of the stock market. In fact, he's not really concerned with the activities of the stock market at all. He looks at each company as a whole, so he chooses stocks solely based on their overall potential as a company. Holding these stocks as a long-term play, Buffett doesn't seek capital gain, but instead ownership in quality companies, extremely capable of generating earnings. However, it is important to note that while Warren Buffett may not be a fan of Tesla stock, this does not discredit the company's stock. In fact, several other stock investors consider Tesla stock the best in the stock market at the moment. The company's shown impressive growth over the years. It's not just evident in the company's demand, but also in its profitability. The company's profitability depends not only on just having a good profit margin, but also consistently increasing it. A high profit margin indicates that a company is executing its business well, but increasing margins means management has also been extremely efficient and successful at controlling expenses. For a good indication of historical profit margins, investors should look back at least five years of activity in the company. Many new investors are surprised at Warren Buffett's uncomplicated investment style. Buffett invests in great businesses, trading for less than their intrinsic values. And then he holds onto the investments for as long as they remain great businesses. Although it is uncertain whether he will one day invest in Tesla, the stock expert sure has his reasons for not buying the company's shares now. Which, in itself, does not make Tesla stock a bad stock. It's just not the kind of stock that Warren Buffett wants to invest in at the moment. Do you think Warren Buffett should invest in Tesla? Let us know down below. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.